The Gower Peninsula, a world on its own where commons play a large and somewhat unusual part. What I love about Gower Commons is the open spaces, the freedom. Um, and it gives you just that bit of relaxation. It unstresses people. This beautiful land has an important cultural grazing tradition. The grazing of cattle, sheep and ponies is essential for the local agricultural economy. I'm Peter Lanfear and I'm the chairman of uh, the Commons on Gower. Gower Commons basically is an area of land on Gower which covers 25 commons. The 25 commons all have their own management groups where each little group um, has their own common. Gower Commons is basically the umbrella association which links all the 25 together to which I chair. Common land seems to have a very big myth and one of the myths is the fact that common land is owned by everyone. Actually, common land isn't owned by everyone. Common land has an owner. You will have on one hand the landowner who will own the land and you'll have the commoner who has the grazing right on the land. I think most people enjoy the Commons in Gower. It's an open area, it's nice, it's got the, the views, it's got the many famous beaches, uh, it's close to urbanisation, so you've got the air, the exercise, and basically just get out in the countryside, walk in nature and enjoy it. Almost 80% of Gower's commons are designated as special areas of conservation, uh, which means they're internationally important for wildlife. Um, Gower's commons contain um, some of the most significant areas of lowland heath in the world, and they're home to uh, rare species like the marsh fritillary butterfly and the southern damselfly. I'm Alison Jones and I'm a breeder of Welsh Mountain Ponies A's, C's and D's, the Kevin Stud in uh, Gower, South Wales, and I run um, my ponies out on Kevin Bryn. Uh, well, we're one of the oldest Gower families still here and I'm the fourth generation of breeding the ponies. We registered with the Welsh Pony and Cob Society in 1910 and we've been running ponies out on Kevin Bryn to us since my great-grandfather Arthur Davis. I've got 22 running out in Kevin Brill at the moment but this is a herd of 13 so we've got Welsh Mountain Pony, there's got one mare out here and then the rest are Welsh Pony of Cobb type, Welsh Section C's. They've all got the prefix Kevin so this is Kevin Wedding Night, this is Kevin Axel and then this is her dam or her mother Kevin Karma. So all these three are Bay Section C mares so Axel's rising five now this year and Karma and Wedding Night are about 10. Karma's back in foal now this year to a, to a registered stallion. The Welsh ponies are bred to be on the, on the Welsh hills and the Welsh commons. The commons need the ponies and the ponies need the commons, really. The reflective collars are a new thing that I've been trialling this year. Um, Andrew Faulkner has made the, co the collars for me. So they're double-sided, so um, there's reflective co uh, reflectiveness on both sides. So if they turn or whatever, they can still be seen by the, by the car lights. They're elasticated, so 
and they can snap. So if somebody does try to catch the horse by the collar or the animal gets stuck in something, they will snap off. If this huff gets caught, it will snap off. But they're strong enough to withstand day-to-day -day business. Please don't feed them, um, it does encourage them to the roads and they can choke on feeds. There's certain feeds they shouldn't eat and I know people are trying to be kind and thinking that they're feeding the wild animals but they are all owned by people and uh, I do care for them and they are really well looked after and it's just, if it's just me feeding them then they, they just come to me and everything like that and they, they're good to round up. But as soon as they see people with backpacks or carrier bags, they all assume that the feed's for them. And you can see that they're large animals and they do try to kick each other to get to the feed sometimes. And it's just safer if you stay away from them. My gower reflects my love of animals and the joy of the surrounding wildlife and ecosystems. Family, farming and community are all close to my heart. The youth of today hold the key to the next chapter. The family farm is a lifestyle and ideal worth preserving to continue our rich family history, including the commons. Fifth generation, aren't you? That's right, yes, Emma. So the, the common was important to your grandparents with their farm? Yes, yes, because they, 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 they had a small holding. I mean, you, they only had um, postage stamp size fields and the common was very important because it was on their doorstep and it was free and it, you know, it was there to be managed. So how did he use the common? He used to uh, bring them in each evening, put them in the cow stall, milk them. Uh, we'd have milk or my grandma would make butter and, and some uh, cheese and then every morning then he'd let them out onto a silly down to do the grazing um, and then we'd pick, we used to uh, collect them in, in the evening to make sure they were they had um, water and you know just general husbandry to make sure they were in good condition for being out on the downs. You know, we caught one fella, 80 mile an hour, driving and hit, hit a horse and a, and a foal and killed the two of them. Hi, my name is Samantha Hughes. Um, I'm the co-founder of uh, the Gower Common Safety Action Group. When you cross the common, you have to remember that these animals have the right to roam. They are free roaming animals and they are the ones that have priority over the traffic. Most people will sort of say, when we look from a road safety point of view, why aren't, why aren't commons fenced and why isn't the road fenced out of the common? Um, the, the main reason that you have with commons is you have the Crow Act which gives the, the public right of access and open uh, common and more registered in England and Wales. Through the sort of right to roam you can't uh, obstruct the path of the walker so it isn't a, a simple matter of you can just go out onto the common even as a landowner or the com commoner and put up a fence which will obstruct the path. 
when you're driving over the commons, enjoy it. Take your time, look out for the animals, respect the roads. They are fast, dangerous roads. If you are in an accident, um, if it's an emergency, please dial 999 so the police can assist and you stay at the scene. Um, especially if you've you know, really hit a, a cow or a large animal. Um, if you hit a sheep or anything that seems to come off the road, um, then please log it and with 101 so they can contact the relevant farmer. Gowers Commons contain important habitats which uh, have been created and maintained by thousands of years of grazing by animals. The wildlife here depends on uh, grazing to thrive and uh, all different species of animals, so the sheep, the ponies and the cattle, all graze in very different ways and they take different vegetation. So sheep are really useful because they, uh, they keep back scrub and encroaching scrub and saplings, keeping areas open, um, uh, making sure that woodland doesn't develop and we keep our beautiful diverse grasslands. Uh, ponies are really good because they eat uh, rushes and gorse, which are quite dominant species, which shade out other, other sp important species. Uh, so they take those particularly in the winter when they're more nutritious than the surrounding vegetation. Um, cattle, they eat in very different ways to uh, ponies and sheep. So they like to wrap their tongues around the vegetation and pull it up, which means they leave a very diverse sward structure behind them, which is important for all sorts of different species. I'm Gareth John and I'm Chairman of Kevin Bryn Commons Association and this is the, my farm, Mansellfold Farm. My father bought the farm when the Penrice estate broke up in the 1950s. But prior to that, they, we f the family farmed on the next door farm for three generations before that. And now my son is coming home, so it'll be five generations. As far as I can remember, we've always used the common and I know my father did before me. And uh, it releases the ground on the farm for uh, making hay and silage during the summer. A group of organisations work together to keep Gowers Commons in good condition. So those are the graziers, uh, the landowners such as National Trust and Swansea Council, uh, the fire service, the police and Natural Resources Wales amongst others. So a key message from Natural Resources Wales with respect to the, the Gower Commons is firstly we really recognise that they are a managed environment and that the commons themselves are key to the success of the commons, both in terms of the habitat, in terms of the landscape, in terms of the access, in terms of preventing uh, dangerous, uncontrolled burns. So for us, the graziers are central to the success of the commons. Um, and we are interested in them not just for the nature conservation value, but for everything that they give to the community and to people in terms of health and well-being and the farm economy. Everybody's very, very welcome to enjoy our commons. So we ask people to park up off the common, go for a walk, make sure their animals are under control and they pick up the droppings. So when you're enjoying walking over Gower Commons with your dog, it's important to pick up your dog mess because if it's left on the ground, it's a hazard and it's a danger to livestock. It can cause many diseases, um, including abortion and sometimes uh, fatal diseases in, in livestock. It's really important to keep your dog on a lead when you're uh, walking on Gower Commons because they're a free roaming livestock and uh, any dog can chase them um, and it can cause distress to the sheep um, and abortion sometimes, they can lose lambs and it's, it's a significant problem. We enjoy the common as we enjoy the farm you know it's somewhere where we can come out and walk and come and see the animals we check the animals on a daily basis and it's just a, just a beautiful place you know it's an enjoyable place especially when you come out and check the animals in a summer evening i enjoy keeping an eye on on the wildlife in general um, so i enjoy that i enjoy seeing the animals out here i enjoy with the horses and ponies, bringing them in, breaking them, making them into somebody, uh, give somebody else pleasure. 
The Commons are incredibly important to me. Um, they're a place that I have enjoyed walking in. I enjoy uh, looking at the animals. I enjoy the wildlife in the Commons. Um, I think the place would be completely different if we didn't have them. The Commons are there for us all to enjoy. That's why we must keep the graziers on the Commons. Gower's common land is important and needs to be protected. Please help us by enjoying the commons responsibly.